we are carrying out research extensively on how to recycle the plastic waste. As we have seen that across the globe, the plastic waste is a major problem. Even if we dump plastic somewhere in the mountain that comes to the river and also polluting the ocean. So therefore, <coughs> that we have given a special emphasis that how exactly and how we really can recycle the plastic waste and come to a new product. So first I am showing you this plastic bottle. We are drinking water and throwing it out just maximum half an hour time or by one hour time. Then these plastic bags, these plastic bags also we are using maximum say one hour or two hours and we are throwing it out. And this is creating huge garbage across the globe. It is polluting river, it is polluting agricultural field, it is polluting also soil. Now we have collected all the plastic waste which we dump in the environment and that we have successfully converted to rich tiles. The rich tile you can see that it can be fixed on the top of the roof and it will be having a life of more than 50 to 60 years. That means the plastic bag which we are just throwing in just half an hour time, now it has been recycled and life is more than 60 years. Then I am showing you the next product. This is the roof tiles which you can see here. The roof tiles it can be any color. It can be gray, it can be little sky color, it can be blue, it can be even reddish color also. Again these roof tiles having a life of more than 60 years. That means the plastic bottle, the water bottle which is just throwing in half an hour time, now we will have a life for more than 60 years. And once this life is over, we really can make next product out of it. So and on another thing we have seen that if you have a sunlight on a uh, say concrete or maybe a tin set or, or asbestos set, the temperature of the top it becomes 45 degrees Celsius and in the bottom it will remain say uh, around 46 or 47. If you have this plastic tile in the 45 degrees Celsius in the summer time inside will remain around 28 or 30. So there will be huge electric energy saving and consequently low carbon emission and also low greenhouse gas. Then I am showing this one very important technology which we have developed. This tetra pack, I think everyone across the globe, we drink this uh, cold coffee, lassi or maybe the milk or any other, say the api, the apple juice or mango juice or the milkshake, we simply throw it out. Just drinking in two minutes time and we are throwing it out. Now we have collected all those waste, the, the waste from this tetra pack that we have fantastically converted to cotton. This cotton you can see inside the bag. From that cotton we have made this sofa cushion or the pillow. It is very soft. That means the tetra pack which we are just throwing in this two minutes time now with this pillow is having a life for more than 20 years and it will be so much of useful. So that is the main advantage of this recycling of the plastic. Then I am coming to that the multi-layer plastics is a very important technology. You can see here that outside is the plastic coating, inside the aluminum foil, aluminum coating. And the melting temperature of the plastic generally around uh, close to 250 degrees Celsius and for the aluminum it is uh, close to uh, 650 degrees Celsius. So it is very difficult to process and everyone is using potato chips, biscuit or even any other you know, that uh, kind of uh, fry inside and we are throwing it out after just using you no know, consuming that product and we have again collected this plastic waste and that we have converted to this kind of next product that we can see here this is a table top or roof or you can see that stool okay this table top if you just fix four aluminum or steel stand, 
it can be used as a table or a stool or a chair or a furniture that means again once again this uh, multi-layered plastics we are hardly using for say half an hour and it is creating a huge garbage huge garbage in the environment and once we have recycled we have made this fantastic very useful furnitures out of it so they are double advantage that means first we are cleaning this plastic waste making a new product and also we are uh, making the new product with this furniture say uh, table top stool or maybe the chairs so in this case the another advantage is that we will not use the wooden furniture so there will be less deforestation and consequently no chopping of trees so we are also reducing the chopping of trees with this technology so that will be making a green environment so one more important technology is that for the packaging these days we are using this thermocol which is called extended polystyrene if we use laptop if or if you use computer or if you use mobile phone all are using this packaging of this tetra, uh, of this thermocol which is called extended uh, polystyrene or even for refrigerator also the packaging we do with this and also we are using maximum one or two days we are throwing it out and if you survey for any countries across the globe but in the cities or the towns if the flood happens that's choking the drain so drain water is choked by this uh, uh, polystyrene which is called thermocol or even if you see in the villages also the land is filled with this uh, thermocol so what we have done from the thermocol we have recycled that one and came to a new product which is called uh, can be used as a helmet or it can be a car bumper and even if you drop a stone on that nothing will happen it's so strong that means this thermocol again we are using maximum for one day we are throwing it out but once we make a car bumper or maybe if we make a helmet or maybe the side wall of the car it will have life more than 30 years so also it's a waste to wealth so that means we are not only cleaning the environment also we are generating new product out of it now let me tell that what are the uh, other consequences so it will create huge amount of employment and economy across the globe suppose the person which will be cleaning these plastics will get the employment the uh, the person who will be segregating this one will also get the employment and then the person in the factory or in the say in the other places will be manufacturing this one also the employment opportunity is there and then the person who will be selling this one the product in the uh, in the say in the society also will be getting the new jobs so as we have seen that this technology will be not only creating the clean environment green environment and also it will be creating huge number of employment across the globe so this is technology for the humankind and let us also know is next step suppose if we make this product from the virgin plastics then what happens that there will be number of more processing in that system in that case there will be must much higher carbon emission but once we make this uh, recycled plastics to the new product there will be much less carbon emission and our estimation says it will be 70 percent below so there will be only 30 percent carbon emission from the recycled products so therefore as we see that these days the lot of problem in the environment because the plastic waste says so it will be a blessing if we really convert to new products so it will be giving a clean environment green environment economy and employment across the globe and i hope that this documentary will be useful uh, for the any kind of uh, new technology to be evolved so once again uh, like we see that this technology we like to give to anyone across the globe and we found that many countries have shown interest about on this technology like in bangladesh we got information from singapore also same thing from switzerland also we got information from uh, in that uh, african countries they all have some interest of this technology in india also there's a lot of demand of this technology in singapore we saw in sri lanka also so we are giving know-how across the globe and anyone is liking to uh, just uh, have a technology with us most welcome to contact us thank you very much